you like anime? Or do you like pillows? Well, this lovely little wolf crew has a deal for you. A little thing known as the Takimakura. Which is basically a body pillow, a two-way tricot, which is the Taj Mahal of body pillows. They are an authentic Japanese size at 50 by 150 centimeters. They are practically wrinkle-proof, smooth as silk, and always the cool side of the pillow. And to all my fellow guys out there, don't feel ashamed to buy one, because, funny enough, it's actually women that are buying these pillows at this moment in time. And thus, we have a whole spectrum of lads and ladies for everyone to buy. We want to emphasize that you are getting quality and taste with the donkeys. We do have NSFW, but due to YouTube and Twitch's rules, we can't post links to them. So, go down below and visit the store today! Load and crude crops. Use the coupon AG10 to get 10% off your purchase. So, buy today. <laughs> hmm. You've learned well these past few months, my lovely pet. You follow my commands without hesitation now. And you're doing it with an adorable smile on your cute little face. <laughs> ah, I'm glad we were able to fix your speech. I always did think it was out of place for a dog to speak like a person. Glad we got you speaking like the pet you are. Now come here, Wolfie. Stop. Sit, boy. Good boy. Lay down on your back. Good. Give me your paw. The left one. Now turn over to your belly. <sighs> Mm-hmm, that's it. Hmm, your body is nice and soft. And I know you go crazy whenever I massage this beautiful tail of yours. Ara, ara. Who's my good, obedient pet? You are? Really? Why don't you prove it? <laughs> okay, <laughs> my wonderful sweet boy really loves his mama. <laughs> I'm convinced you can stop now. Good boy. So, my treasure, since you've been such a joy these past few weeks, I'm thinking you deserve a reward. I know you have been longing to have more freedom, and while I would prefer to keep you in here forever so no one could think of even touching you and putting their filthy unworthy hands on my precious pet except charlie per se <clears throat> i'm going to allow you to accompany me on a walk how does that sound my love um, i mean my sweet, sweet boy, hmm? Aw, I knew you'd love it. All right, come here. And put on this leash, and we can go. There we go, nice and secure. Let's go, Wolfie. Ara, ara, I spot a sassy little moth demon. Selina? Ay, Dios mio, is that you? Mm, oh, I haven't seen you in ages. How have you been? Oh, you know, the usual things. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. You always did enjoy your work. But of course, I always believe you should enjoy your work. So, how is that... 
uh, demon reforming thing of yours going? It's going well. We're getting new clients steadily by the day. And we've made several renovations to the hotel. My, my, my. Sounds like you're doing very well, love. We are. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> oh, my Lucifer! Who is this precious little thing, Vaggy? Oh, uh, this is Wolfku. <laughs> he is the hotel mascot, and myself and Charlie's pet. Your pet? But he is male. I'm surprised considering your history. He must be special then. It was Charlie's idea, but uh, yeah, he is. He really is. Well, I'm very happy for you. Hello there, little one. I am Selina. It's very nice to meet you. Mm. Oh, he's adorable. You must be keeping him all to yourself. Well, I... Uh, Vagatha, I know you well. And when you want something, you'll take it. Who do you think taught you this, hmm? I know, I know. So tell me, how's the princess these days? Oh, she's been fine, but a lot busy nowadays. In fact, we just got three new residences to the hotel and it's been... Well, well, what do we have here? Are you lost, little one? Uh, something wrong? You look scared. Like you've seen a monster. Hmm? <laughs> oh, my, my, my. Leaving so soon, little one? But I want you to stay. And talk with me. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Struggle all you like, but you'll never break free of... <gasps> Come here, you naughty wolf creature. <sighs> wow, you're a lot stronger than I give you credit for. Not anyone could break free from my grip. <sighs> It's pretty much a done deal once I've got you. You're just full of surprises. <laughs> hmm. I'm finding you more and more intriguing by the second. Oh, give it up. I've got you. You're not breaking free this time, little one. <laughs> I've applied my full grip on you, so you can just sit tight. Oh, you're a feisty one you are. Hmm. I like that. <laughs> well, well then, what should I ever do with you, I wonder, hmm? Well, it doesn't look like you have a no-no. Not that it would matter to me anyways. So, mm -mm -mm -mm. how about I take you as my personal hellhound? Would you like that? You like the sound of that little one, hmm? Of course you do. Oh, uh, would you stop struggling? Uh, cheeky little bastard, get back here! with that uh, what are you are you lost or were you running away from something oh, here little one I know you came this way and I'm going to find you <laughs> excuse me miss you wouldn't by any chance you little wolf demon have you I... Uh huh. Yes, it went that way. You have my thanks, miss. Excuse me? Hmm. 
You can come out now. It's all right. I'm not going to eat you or anything like that. Hmm. Looks like we're both running away from our problems, huh? <laughs> Whoever that lady was, she seems hell-bent on catching you. You have it quite a rough, don't you? <sighs> I have a lot on my plate as well. You see, I have some issues going on at home with parents. They're constantly fighting all the time. My father is cheating on my mom with some freaky imp clown or former clown or whatever it is. Doesn't matter anyways. My dad flirts with him constantly around me. It's just so fucked up. And my mom is threatening to have him killed. They've been fighting for so long. I become desensitized to it over time. And I just kind of escape into my reading. I like to collect books, you see. And collect taxidermy animals. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. No offense. I hope you don't take that the wrong way. Oh, good, good. So, anyways... I've just been dealing with a lot as of late. With that constant fighting, my dad's stupid affair. I tend to drown it all out with my music. It's all depressing crap, but it helps me get through the day. My mother is obsessed with the dignity of the Gosha family. And my dad? He just seems like he always is unhappy. I guess that's why he cheats. In some way, I can understand my dad more than my mom. But I still hate my dad in some ways. Well, I don't really hate him. But he just frustrates me sometimes. But I know he really loves me. He recently took me to some stupid cheap rip-off carnival. And trust me when I say it reeks of insecure corporate shame. It was a horrible time, but it didn't completely suck. I got to talk to my dad, and I got to tell him about how I feel. You see... I... He used to sing to me when I was little, and he would call me his Starfire, or Owlet. He still does, but as time went on, we grew more and more distant. I changed, and he was moving further and further away from me. And with this affair, I feared he was going to one day run off and... Leave me behind. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that. Wow, you're so soft and fluffy. Now at least I don't ever have to worry about my dad ever leaving me. Because he told me so. But they're still fighting and it's beginning to become unbearable. Oh, I just needed to get away from it all. <laughs> you know, you are a very good listener. And your fur is very comfortable. I might be crazy for thinking this. But would you like to come home with me? I mean, you'd have to deal with my crazy family. But I feel like life would be a bit more bearable with you around. What do you think? Fair warning, my dad can be a bit overprotective. But I'll be overprotecting you. So you want to come with me? So... This is where you've been hiding all along. How cute. You lied to me, young lady. I don't like being lied to. Well, consider how this one was running away from you. I'd say I was right to do so. 
Be that as it may, you're going to give back what's mine. I don't know. I think he's gonna stay right here with me. And you're going to leave if you know it's good for you. <laughs> if I know what's good for me... <laughs> okay, you little brat. Why don't I show you who you're dealing with? You learn who that wolf belongs to. Oh, I know who he belongs to, and that's me. Vaggy, we finally found him! My, my. If it isn't the princess's little pet. Cut the shit, bitch. Now what's this talk about my pet belonging to you? Wait, you're the owner? Yes, he belongs to myself and the princess of hell. Sorry, but find his keepers. You'll have to get a new one. Because I've taken quite a liking to this one. I don't care what you've taken a liking to. He belongs to me, and if you test my patience, I'm going to have to put you in your place. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Too bad the princess isn't here to see when I mop the floor with you. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I can substitute for our great demon princess. You don't have to, Selina. Oh, I know, darling. But I want to. But this belittles you. And you know I don't like when people belittle my friend. <laughs> You'll never change, Selina. Hmm, of course not. Now, let's deal with this bitch. Okay? <laughs> let's. Bring it on, you whores! You'll never beat me! That was fun. I haven't had a good workout like that in a while. <laughs> the bitch was a lot tougher than she looked. Hmm. By the way, Vaggy, may I have her? To be honest, I wanted your little wolf here as my plaything, but I know he belongs to you. But I still want the plaything, so... Can I have her? Huh? <laughs> I don't see why not, though. I doubt she will last long with you. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. You always say the nicest things. Come on now, you. I have a lot of training to put you through. Ooh, I love the feisty ones. It makes it so much more satisfying when I break their spirits. Mmm, true. See you later, Vaggy. Until we meet again. <laughs> Bye, Selena. Have fun. Mm, you know I always do, darling. <laughs> I'm sorry if my pet caused you any problems. No, it's fine. Thanks for dealing with that problem. Oh, it's no problem at all. I'm very protective of my pets. So, he really is your pet. <sighs> Well, that's... unfortunate. Hm? Nothing. Well, I guess you'll be wanting him back, huh? Naturally. 
He isn't just my pet. He's also the Princess of Hell's pet, too. Yeah, you don't say. Well, then... Fuck! There goes using my family name to persuade her otherwise. Here you go. Thank you very much. We should go, though. I think he's had more than enough excitement. Yeah, sure. <coughs> Sorry, I, I don't know what's gotten into him. There we go. Wow, he must have really took a liking to you. Yeah. Now, now, Wolfku, we have to go. I know you like her, but we have to go home now. Time to say goodbye, okay? See you later, and thanks for looking after him. Don't mention it. It was nothing. Really. Well, gotta go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now then, my pet. Say it again. <laughs> I am your bitch, mistress. Again. 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 I am your bitch, mistress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just love my new pet. I'm home. Ah, you piece of shit! Oh. Here we go again. Every time. Come on, Stella. Would you please be reasonable about this? Reasonable? Reasonable? You have some fucking nerve. That's rich coming from you. Well, I'm not the one who tried to have me assassinated, did I? I'm not the one going around being a lying, cheating bastard! And with a fucking imp, no less. You're a fucking disgrace to the Goetia line! <sighs> you see? That's exactly what I'm talking about. All you ever think about is the fucking Goetia status. You know there's more to life than this royal masquerade you seem to want to flaunt around like anyone truly cares. Oh, this is my fault now. You cheated on me because I act like I'm royalty. Well, I've got a newsflash for you. We are fucking royalty! And we must act as such, but you seem to be thinking about Fucking around with an imp! You'll never understand my point, will you? You've got your mind wrapped up around this lifestyle. You'll never truly understand me, which is why I went out and found one who does. Oh, you are such a fucking prick! You sit there talking like it's my fault for your infidelity! Could you keep it down? Our daughter is home. And I would not like to keep doing this in front of her. Oh, so now you're thinking about her daughter. You damn sure weren't thinking about her when you were out fucking an imp, were you? That's not fair, Stella. Now he wants to talk about what's fair. You know what's not fair, betraying your family, embarrassing your wife, and cheating with a low-class fucking imp. That's what's not fair! Ugh. Oh, it's the same shit every time I come here. They're both so damn irritating. I wish... I wish you were here. Things could have been more bearable with you around. I could have someone to talk to and take care of. But I... But I guess I can't even have that, can I? I hate this! 
I should at least try to go and see him again. Maybe I can. I've decided to separate myself from your father. We'll talk later about the details, but for now, you'll be coming with me, hun. What? But I... Yes, mother. <laughs>